Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a unboxing. Uh, I just received this parcel um, from Makeup Forever. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, well, open it with you and unbox everything with you to show you the brand new product that I received. And I'm gonna do swatches and everything like that. So it's just you know to show you some new makeup forever products maybe if you don't know the brand and you want to know the products or if you already like the brand and you want to see some other products that they have or anything like that so i'm just gonna unbox um, those products for you and uh, yeah let's get started goodies okay so the first product is uh, uh, well, this one is a very famous one actually, and I really wanted to try it out. So it's the Makeup Forever Step One Skin Equalizer Mattifying Primer. So they they have different primers, um, that, like they do different uh, things on your skin. But I wanted to try the mattifying one because that's like the most famous one, and everybody rave about it. So I really wanted to try it um, to see. Um, what I think about it so yeah I don't have a lot of things to say about this one because I can't swatch it or anything so yeah it's just the mattifying primer um, so I'll let you know if I like it or not in another video so the next product is the HD high definition blush um, I don't know what the color is um, the number of the blush is two um, ah. <laughs> It's uh, 215, 215. So it's a cream blush and it's this, uh, I think it looks really pinky on camera if I, I, I believe it looks really pinky, but it's not really, it's a peachy, peachy pink. Um, it's not a bright pink because I believe it really looks bright pink on camera, but it, it's not, um, yeah, it's a peachy pink and, um, Let's try it. So it's a cream one. It's really, really subtle. It's not like, it's not like beam on your face. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's here, here. So it's this, um, peachy pink color and I believe this is gonna be really cool for uh, the days where you don't want to wear a lot of makeup you know those days where you just don't want to cake your face up you just want to have a little touch of blush and a little touch of makeup on your face just to look awake but you don't want that big makeup look this is the kind of products that are really cool just to give some colors to your chick for those kind of days I, th I think it's I, I think I'm gonna like this product so next this is the waterproof cream color um, in color uh, that's this shade 17 um, I am uh, I really like this color it's um, uh, how do you say that it's like a, a berry color so it's a cream shadow and it's a wow it's really pretty it's really creamy it's not sticky uh it doesn't feel really dry so i mean i have to try it on my eyes but it doesn't feel dry because some some cream shadows can can feel dry on your lips like it's never gonna take off and it's not really comfortable um this doesn't feel like that and i really really like the color i'll link every product that i'm showing you in this video uh in the description box so if you want to try one of those products then you you'll have the the name the exact names of each and every single products that i'm showing you in the description bar so next i have this lab shine star collection lip gloss Ooh. okay and that is the number s18 if you want to know this seems to be really shimmery 
yeah it's a it's a shimmery transparent but with a hint of pink in it so that looks good when it's the same than the blush you know uh, that looks good when you don't want to wear a lot of makeup you just want to wear something really simple on your on your face and you just want to wear a little glossy thing on your on your lips but nothing too crazy um, so yeah that seems to be cool next is the oh yeah that is the ultra HD concealer that I already have I already have this con this concealer and I use it every day that's what that's what I used again uh, today to conceal my dark circles and everything so I took the color Y31 and yeah I, I know that I already really like this product because I already have one bottle of it here so that's the brand new that's the the old one and I I almost finished this product so I ordered a new one but I ordered this one to put in my makeup uh, kit like for my clients when I for my professional kit um, it's because I really like this concealer so if you're looking for a good concealer a good concealer that is um, that is really good coverage but not too drying uh, under your eyes because I have really dry eyes so I don't want anything that is gonna dry it up even more um, then I really recommend this concealer because it's really it's really cool okay so next uh, uh, yeah these these are these are the brow the brow sorry not brow the brow something are pencils for the brows they are called the pro sculpting brow so I took one uh, one blonde color uh, I, don't know, I don't know what the color is what, what number is that so I took the number 40 and the number 20 because I wanted I never tried these so I don't know if they're good or, or, or not but I took two because I wanted because if they're good then I wanted a blonde one and a brown like dark brown one um, again to use on my clients uh, it's gonna be in my in my professional kit so I took a darkish one not too dark though I didn't want it super dark because I already have uh, a brow product that is for like super dark brows so I didn't need that but I took a like dark brownish topish color and um, a blonde color so I don't know if you can see them well but these are the two uh, the two brow things so I'm really excited to try these because these products are brand new for the for the brows in Makeup Forever so then I have this aqua liner and uh, I believe this color is called diamond blue and this seems to be a very pretty color uh, so it's like an eyeliner thing it's the the brush is really tiny super super tiny there's a good pigmentation I really like the color it's like um, it's like um, I believe it's much I think it's much lighter on camera than it than it actually is in real but this looks like a petrol blue I'm not I'm not sure you call it like that in English but it's not it's not a dark blue and it's not a light blue it's a I don't know in French we would say petrol blue so I, I don't know but you can I, um, I can tell you that it's a bit darker in real than what you see on camera just so you know uh, then I have the Artist Plexi Gloss in uh, 404 and 
Oh uh, yeah, this looks really cool. I saw this one on the website and I thought that this color looked really cool. Um, it's a, it's like a cranberry? No, not cranberry. Straw, no, not strawberry. What's the name? Maybe cranberry. I don't remember. But it's, um, it's like this bright, pink color and it's supposed to be glossy it's not a matte liquid lipstick it's uh i think it's supposed to be a whoa that is really pigmented oh i really like this color really like it but yeah it's it's a gloss but it's like a super intensely pigmented gloss as you can see here it's a bright pink color um it's really pretty i really like it I don't have anything like that. I don't have anything glossy with that color. That is really pretty. I really like this. I really want to try this out. Uh, uh, next, they sent me a little, a little sample. Yeah, it's a sample to try their Aqua XL eye pencil in black. So that's the. That's the black eye pencil. If I can take it off, that would be great. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's like a mini, mini uh, black eye, light eye pencil. Okay, it's really creamy and extremely black and pigmented. So I'll just have to see if it lasts a long time. But it's. The formula seems to be good. Um, and then the three last uh, things that I have are brushes. So the first one it's the it's the what? There's no name. Uh, it's the straight 260 um a little brush and it's a, an eyeliner brush yeah it's it's um it's like a an angled eyeliner brush you know it's uh it's bent bent i think you say uh and it's supposed to be easier to make like the cat eye and everything because the shape is supposed to help you i think um i've never tried anything uh, any brushes like that to do my eyeliner so we shall see what if this is really good. And then I have another. I already have. <laughs> I already have a few of um, uh, blending brush. That's a blending brush. That's a fluffy, really soft blending brush. Um, that's the number number 242 and I actually already have uh, maybe like maybe like four uh, yeah maybe four um, blending brush in my kit but if you're a makeup artist you know that you have never enough fluffy blending brush in your kit because you just know what I'm talking about you know that when you have to do several people on the same day uh, the blending brush are the brushes that you use the most when you do uh, like makeup because that's like you dip it in a brown you dip it in in a, in a, in a kind of whitey color or whatever color you use and it's just a very important brush to have in your kit so yeah to have like you have to have several uh, blending brushes in your makeup kit so that's why our I ordered this uh, this one even though I have others and the last brush that I have is the number 230 and that's a concealer brush it's uh, it's a flat yeah it's a flat concealer brush um, you know just to put your concealer under your eyes and everywhere like that you know um, I already have like a couple of um, couple of brushes like that but, but once again something that you really use a lot uh, when you do when you do makeup basically 
so I ordered a, another one of shoes. So, yeah, there you go. I, I, I finished the unboxing, so I'm gonna do a close up of the swatches and uh, yeah, I'll let you know in a different video what I think about all of those products. I think I'm gonna do reviews about, I, I don't, maybe not about each and every single one of these products, but I'm gonna do maybe a review on, I don't know, maybe the primer and the lip gloss, or I don't know. I'll see, but I think I'm gonna do reviews on some of those products and I'll let you know what I think about them. And so yeah, that is the end of the video. I just hope that you liked it. And if you do, as always, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, thank you for watching.